Uncle Mark here, welcome to the channel. Just installing a tailgate assist shock on my 2013 F-150. What it basically is gonna do is just uh, make it that the tailgate, when you open it, doesn't slam down and make a whole bunch of noise or maybe even hurt the tailgate. What I found uh, using it since I've installed it is that uh, I was pulling my fifth wheel trailer, camper trailer, and it was kind of nice because not very much room between the trailer and the truck. And when you have to open the tailgate, it was kind of nice not to have to be right in the middle and hold it up or down. Anyway, let's get right to the video. So let's get right to this. So tailgate assist. This is what they normally do. Yep. I don't want to really drop it. I like my truck. This should work. This is uh, on F-150, but I think this will be very similar in most of the trucks. And I'll put a link in the description for this part if it's available. This has got kind of like a perforated tearaway or whatever, but I can't get it to work, so I'm just using my knife. Can't remember where I bought it from because I bought it like a couple of years ago and it's been sitting waiting. It's like so many projects. Get the shock out of here. Some kind of parts come with it. So it doesn't look like too hard to do. It's going to go on the one side only. This one goes on the driver's side. And they're explaining how to put it in. I don't explain a whole lot. Of course, I didn't read all the instructions. There's uh, Allen wrench and parts. And then, oh, great, they got all the tools nuts, some Loctite and the shock. And some stuff so we don't scratch the paint. So, they explain here. Oh, this is a tool that's not included. I thought 10 millimeters. I thought they had everything together, but nope. So, this blind nut that we've got to install. I wasn't really sure how it works, but they want you to have three quarters from the washer. I thought it was, you know, going to be really complex. It's like, eh, I think you could be three quarters ish. I tried making it close. We'll see why in a minute. That fits over there. We'll be turning the wrench, but not the middle piece. So it kind of works like a wall anchor, whereas the, the, it's going to pull that left brassy looking color stuff and spread it open and of course uh, there's the hole so they didn't explain that in there but that's how it's going to work you can see that i think and that middle star looking thing is just like bearings so when we turn it it's going to turn easy so that's the part we're going to try not to turn understand how it works what i didn't understand and I probably should read it again. Oh, and it's like, what is this for? No. They gave us one, but... So it looks like it's a... It's supposed to be an M5, but a, a wrench, air Allen wrench, but I used a Torque, a T30. It seemed to work there. A teeny bit loose, but it was fine. So basically, we're going to hold this part, but I've got the ratchet on just hold it from turning we're not going to turn that we're just going to turn the nut what that's doing is pulling this piece this anchor that's in the tailgate already and it's spreading it open that's what's going to hold it on there so i thought oh we're going to keep doing this till whatever torque and it's just going to snap off or something but that's not what happens here so I started putting it on and got ahead of myself and it's like, ooh, they tell you how many full turns they want you to do this at. So good thing I recorded this because I just reviewed the tape and saw how many times I turned it. So that's what they're saying. I think I've done two and a quarter turns, so I'll have to deduct that from the nine turns. Nine full turns. Or 360 degrees times nine turns however you want to word it and what's more confusing is as you've been watching me i've only been doing like quarter turns so i have to go like quarter half three quarters 
one, although now I'm out of sync. But anyway, I did this properly. Counted them until we got to the nine full turns. Getting close. Kind of a pain in the butt, but got time, right? Getting close. Starting to get tighter. I can feel that. And of course, I'm trying to count that in my head. I'm thinking about another full 360, so four times these quarters, and I think that'll do it. I think we're pretty much done. Okay, Let's see what the instructions say now. So we did that. Uh, they say if it still feels a little loose, you can do. Uh, so there's the nine times 360. Make sure the correct number of turns. Uh, and then, of course, under my stuff there, it says you could always do another additional one if you had to or two. I get this off of there. And I was thinking, how does that thing come off? Well, this is where you use another tool that's not included and loosen the middle part. There you go. See how that works? Now we'll put a little bit of Loctite on this little ball here, socket. Just got to cut it open a little bit. So it's nice they included that at least. I'm going to put a bunch of it. The blue stuff doesn't isn't as uh, tight as the red. 13 millimeter socket also not included. So they say here using a torque wrench, they want you to torque it to eight foot pounds. Well. Torque wrench not included. Eight foot pounds, pretty hard to do, but 96 inch pounds. Most torque wrenches are not very accurate under 20 foot pounds. So eight foot pounds, let's do inch pounds. This is an inch pound. So there's 12 inch pounds in one foot pound. So if we need eight foot pounds times 12 is what? 96 inch pounds, right? Does that make sense? Hopefully I said that right. And I don't know if it was turning a little bit. It's like, no, oh, it should tighten. But I think it was spinning just a little bit. But I wanted it right. Then I was like, am I overdoing this? I have this not set right. And that's why I kept looking back, looking back, looking back. I guess you just don't want to overdo it and strip it. There we go. Now they got this uh, clear protective coating here. But they only have one piece. So I cut it out of... A template out of uh, some paper because I just wanted to see if I cut a piece off for here what will I have left well if you use it this way it's not long enough so how are you gonna cut it if yeah <laughs> so what they're suggesting is covering that whole piece well that's not even a Ford I don't think they're showing us nor is this. Because if you look at this, this piece is a lot bigger. A lot longer. So it's not going to work that way. So if we turn it sideways, hmm, what will I have left? Well, let's draw it out just quickly and see. I don't think you actually need this piece on the Fords. Maybe you do on some of the other ones. But here, I'll just just bear with me for a minute. Just so you can see. So if you cut that piece off, well, now look at the weird shape you have. Or how much less you have for on there. Because I think they're hoping you're going to cover that whole piece. But whatever. I don't like that idea. So what I figured I'm going to do is, yeah, see right here? I'm just going to clean this off, and I'm just going to put the whole piece on here. I have access to more of this, of course not included. And your fingers really should almost be wet or moist or something, because like, your fingerprints are going to be all in, in the sticky side. So I just made them a little bit wet. I won't tell you how. And I'm going to put that on there. And 
and it's pretty thin stuff. I put it on dry. And how sticky it was. Yeah. The good stuff stickier. But whatever. Got to get it sit there properly. And this side's just gonna not have anything for now. So let's get back to deconstructing. Could have used I had scissors. Not included, of course. In the tools. Should have used a screwdriver, flat screwdriver. If you take that off, you saw how to do that. Now this wrench is for this piece. Well, it's almost, it sticks a little too far away from the bolt. And then the arm or lever or whatever is not really long enough. Because this thing's on here pretty tight. But I figured if that's the tool you're using, I might as well show you how to do it. So it's like fight with it. As you can see. Like I say, if it was a little closer, the arm where it bends to the bolt, you'll probably understand. And I'm trying to hold a camera with the other hand, and I'm trying to see what I'm doing, so I'm almost doing it by feel. Yeah. Not really sure why they include this, but they don't include the smaller one. Give me a, well, I guess the tool isn't worth much that they give you, but... Give me a couple bucks off and I'll buy the right socket or bit. Anyway, clean that up and put that bolt in my hand plus the flange or whatever you want to call it. And put it back in. Of course again, trying to do this holding the camera. Wasn't sure if it should be loose or not, but I guess I could have tightened it as much as I like, position it and just tighten it. I think I was worried that maybe the shock was going to be not long enough or too long or something. You might have to reposition that, but for this situation here, it was the right length. So they're saying here, it's supposed to go on a certain way. They, well, and I didn't tighten it, but I can tighten it after. Clip this back on. Little safety thing goes back in there. I'm sure, that's not really what it's called. I grab my shock with one hand. They're saying there's a bigger end and there's a smaller end, kind of a thicker and thinner for the very ends. And you can see that's the thinner side, so I'm gonna have to flip it around, I think. That way. Let's see the instructions say. So the narrow end of the shock, that's this one. See the difference? They want it the big end on the top and then the smaller end or the narrower shaft on the bottom. If you had two hands, you could do this easily. Let's click it on there. Would have been a lot easier if I would have tightened that top part. But anyway then of course with two hands you could pull the shock out and it's hard to pull out it's easy to push in and that's the whole purpose right when the gate goes down it needs some force when it goes up it's got to be easy so it works clip that on there and that little ball there two hands will work i put the camera on a tripod and you go snap that in there. It just snaps in, but tighten this up. Again, it'd be a lot easier with the proper socket or bit, the torque bit. Get that in there, make sure it's sitting the right way. And then we'll see if this is worth it or not. Boy, I need to lose some weight. Look at that tummy. Let's see how it works. Now here's an issue. 
to do with a cable. It's not binding or nothing, but I guess they're worried that I might scratch your paint a little bit or something. I just look in the way it hangs there in the bottom too. I don't know what that paint protective part would have done there. This one might help a little bit. Even that, I don't know. In this situation, the way this is all coming together, might have been better maybe to put this together first and then decide what might scratch, which I'm thinking might be lower on the gate part. Uh, let's try it out, see how it works. Remember before, right? Look at that. Just Cool, huh? Like these gates don't weigh hardly nothing anyway, so. You don't have to worry about it slamming down. Look at I just double check that spot there again. Uh-huh. It I probably put, should have put that clear stuff lower. Of course some of the tools I have to use, the inch pound torque wrench, tape measure, and a few other things that were not included. So you saw how easy it was to install it. Uh, would have helped I guess if I would have read the instructions, but you know guys, right? Anyway, if you like the video, why not give me the thumbs up? You can subscribe down in the corner too. You can also check uh, my playlist here. Uh, I'm going to do an F-150 playlist listed right up there uh, in case you have a F-150 truck. Otherwise, uh, check out some of the other videos I have too. I've got an old car playlist plus many, many more vehicles that I've worked on. Until next time, you and your family stay safe. Bye-bye from Uncle Mark. Remember to be safe. Your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, give me the thumbs up if you like the video. Plus, please subscribe. And you'll get all the notifications. It's easy. The little dog will show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Uncle Mark here, welcome to the channel. Uncle Mark here, welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, take a look. It's a DZ brand of... Uncle Mark here, welcome to my channel. I 